I want to talk about right angle drills and specifically the Ryobi brand. I don't know if they make a newer one, but I know I love this one. I've had this one since 2005 and it works amazingly well. And one of the be best features of it is you can reverse the battery around. You can actually reverse this a lot of different ways. And this doesn't seem like that it's that important of a feature to be able to take it from this position here to like this. But try to imagine you're laying on your back. Yeah, look at that. If you wanted, you could put a bigger bit on here, but this is actually shorter than the Makita style one that I fell in love with back in 1995. And uh, that was a 9.6 volt battery. The Makita didn't have the issue of having the battery pack like this because the battery pack was on the inside, but it also only runs on NICAD. And, you know, quite frankly, 1995 was a while ago. There's not very many of those rocking around. I think my friend Chris is the only person I know that still has one. But yeah, and they stopped making batteries. You can probably get them at Batteries Plus, but... The other thing I really like about this, look at this big handle here. This is a mechanic style handle. This is so you can get into tight places and you can't always reach the trigger, but you get a finger down on that groove and you can, or you got this whole big battery or, or this section back here. And uh, yeah, this thing rotates all the way around and it's reversible and it's a two piece keyless chuck, which means you have to put a finger on one side to lock it and then a finger on the other to lock it. Normally some of the other ones, the one piece trucks, are, which is the most common thing, uh, you just use the uh, battery brake to uh, lock it up. And I've had this for a long time and it works on the uh, OnePlus system. So when, I, when the OnePlus system came out, which by the way, the OnePlus system didn't have lithium batteries back in the day, it only had NICADs. This one, lithium battery. Here's my uh, uh, jigsaw that I've had since 2004. Works just fine. And yeah, when you can get it. And I keep this one loaded up with a uh, steel blade in it. And in fact, the only reason I buy steel blades is just for this guy here. Um, I like this one better because uh, it just seems to work better for uh, what I use it for. The other one, the newer style one I use for the uh, cutting wood and stuff and uh, making small parts and stuff. And it's nice, you know, cause it's got the, the ability to, uh, um, it's just a better uh, jigsaw overall. This one here is just my uh, workhorse for cutting through steel and stuff. And it works really well. And uh, it's a lot more precise than using a sawzall or a die grinder. Die grinders don't make corners very well uh, or at all. But yeah, um, get yourself a uh, right angle drill if you need one. The Ryobi brand's great because, you know, one platform works everything. The uh, This tool here and Milton operate the same battery. And just like that, you know, it operates. And it goes right back to the drill. Even though this drill is, uh, what is it, 17 or 18 years old? Um, and I name all my tools. This one's name is Stalin because he just never quits. I usually name my tools after uh, evil uh, warlords or Greek gods or something of the line. Uh, like my uh, um, brushless uh, uh, sander, uh, belt sander is Cerberus. You know, that's an evil monster, but you know, whatever. They all have their purposes. And, uh, you know, there's Typhon. Not to be confused with Typhon. But yeah, so the, uh, the this battery platform is just really useful and it's very practical because uh, this one style that they've been doing since 2004 that I'm aware of uh, just makes it so easy to use all kinds of tools. And uh, this right angle drill uh, still gets quite a bit of use and you can see it's gotten a lot of use. I used this when I worked at Toyota as an automotive technician putting in parts on cars and you know I get into tight spots where I'm underneath the car and I didn't necessarily jack it up. But, you know, I can get up under there and uh, install the parts and stuff on the car, doing PDI work and stuff. And uh, it just made it so much easier. And if you need to, you can bring it back that way as well. So maybe you're on a ledge or something. It's a tight spot. Yeah. Great tools.